Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to show you all my purple eyeshadows in my collection. I did a part one of this video and I have all of the <laughs> swatches of part one right here. If you are interested, check out that video, but this is part two. I just have so many purple eyeshadows in my collection I didn't even realize and I thought why not show you guys my favorite color and all of the colors I have in my collection um so Butte Bean did start this um idea for me she swatched her yellow and green eyeshadows and I thought why not try it myself so let's get into part two so I have first off the ColourPop Frozen 2 palette and there are two purples I'm going to swatch here we got Autumn Breeze and Adventure this is a really pretty palette here oh I should actually do it on this side hold on let me redo that we're gonna swatch it on here what did I hold on <laughs> okay we have Adventure Whoa, look at how gorgeous that is. It's a little pinky, but. And then Autumn Breeze is a beautiful deep purple matte. Kind of reminds me of Thule from the Sweet Nothings ColourPop palette. ColourPop is really affordable, and Frozen 2 is such a cute little movie. Love that. <laughs> Um, we have the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette. This is super cute. And I think I'm just going to swatch Layer 1. It is this really nice, like, Barney pink, kind of. It's a matte pastel, but you can really build it up. And it'll be a little more neon. There it is. Let's see, I've got the Nubian 2 here from Juvia's Place. And I think I'm just going to swatch Je Jezebel. It's like a deep, glummy purple. Reminds me of a few other ones in my collection, but very pretty. And I feel like it's really pretty too. It reminds me of Sleeper from ColourPop, but it's very similar. I don't know, it's very similar to, to Sleeper from ColourPop, but I feel like it's so unique and cool in this specific color scheme. So, like that. I have another Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini. Oh, if I can open it without getting eyeshadow all over it. <laughs> um... I think I'm just going to swatch Faso here, which is one of my favorite purples. I think it is my favorite purple. It's like a purple with a blue shift. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's going to be different than everything else I've swatched so far. But it's so, so gorgeous. Love that on the lid. It just has this really pretty light blue reflex. Kind of reminds me of this shade here from the Hasana, Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe, but love this palette. Like, I would buy this whole palette for just that, that purple shade. Oh, wait, actually, there's a purple matte in here. It's super deep, I almost didn't realize, but Eif here, it's not very good. It's very patchy, but it is a purple. It is a purple matte. I wouldn't recommend it though. I really have trouble with it when I try to use it on the eyes. But that is Juvia's Place as well. And then I have one more Juvia's Place. I'm not sure if there's a purple in there. I just kind of threw it in over here. Oh, there is. There is. Um, I'm going to swatch Makita. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And this Burgundy Zobo. I'm going to try. I love Juvia's Place Shimmers, this is Zobo, it's almost more of a pinky purple. I love their shimmers, their mattes are kind of hit or miss, but their shimmers, like look at that, that's just gorgeous. So yeah, very affordable, nice brand if you're looking for trying out some new eyeshadows. I have 
the Sleeping Beauty palette from Besame Cosmetics. I love Besame, they're really cool. I'm gonna take this light purple here and then this deep purple called Plum 107. The light purple is called 89349. <laughs> Those are really the only purples here. This one's like a nice lavender, really light shade, and then this one is a deep shade you can really build up. I know it's not swatching too well, but I promise, I promise it's good if you build it up. And these are all mattes in this one. Um, I'm going to take, let's see, I've got Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam. Hmm. I don't know, in this one I think I'm just going to swatch Bone, Bone Fresco. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's also a light lavender type, type of color. Not showing up too well, but I used it the other day and I still love it. Really nice shade. That's going to bother me. <laughs> and then Soft Glam. I'm thinking just Dusty Rose right here. Let's see. That's going to be some, kind of a similar shade. It's just very light, mauve pinky purple. Very nice. And I also wanted to throw in this single. This is a Betsy, or no, That's So Betty eyeshadow up past midnight. I got this in an Ipsy bag. And I can't open it. <laughs> Why can't I open it? Okay, it's like an eggplant purple, and I thought, why not try it? Because I absolutely love it. Yeah, I don't even know what kind of color family this would go into. It's like a silvery eggplant, <laughs> but very pretty. <laughs> um, let's see what else we have. The Conspiracy Palette from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I think I'm going to swatch really the only purple I would say would be this one right here, which is not a fact. So let's just do that. It's such, such a pretty purple. Kind of similar to Sleeper from um, from ColourPop, or maybe Aphrodite from the Greek Goddess palette from Lunar Beauty. Love this palette. <laughs> um, I have a bunch more here. Let's see, Fetish from Kat Von D. I have two, I think, in here. Let's see. I'll do three actually. We have Kink, um, Corset, and Stiletto. This one, this one's a nice palette. I don't reach for it much, but oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> oh no. Here, I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. I did it on the wrong side here. Like a Barney purple. We have a really cool toned deep purple and whoa very pretty mauvey shimmer whoa that's really cool i don't know why i didn't swatch <laughs> i didn't wait and swatch it on my other hand i think i'm used to swatching on this hand but love this palette it is really nice okay dose of colors Mickey. I think I'm just going to do Aw Shucks right here. It's a deep, deep purple. Nothing crazy special, but I thought because it's in my collection. Oh my gosh. What is going on, people? <laughs> I'm, I'm messing up my swatches here, but that's alright. It's a nice purple. 
<laughs> then I have the Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm going to take um, Jilted and Urban here. But these ones, actually, I don't think you can use on the eyes, technically. Which is weird. Like, I've used them on my eyes, but I don't think you're supposed to. That's more of a pink, but in the pan it looks a lot more purple. But that was the Urban Decay Electric Palette, those two. Then I have the Anastasia Artist Palette, and I think there's just one. We already swatched Dusty Rose from another palette, but I'm going to take Punch Fuchsia. which is not, doesn't really give you much of a punch. <laughs> I never really liked that shade, but it's a purple nonetheless. We have my L'Oreal, I almost said L'Oreal, Lorac Pro palettes. I'm gonna take the first one, which has deep purple. Which is super, super deep shimmer which I never reach for those types of shades but I thought I'd include it here we have the Lorac Pro 2 and I thought I'd swatch Plum which is a nice like cool toned deep purple matte which I don't know you honestly need those types of shades sometimes I feel like it complements the rest of this palette really nice and lastly, Lorac Pro 3, and I'm going to take oop, Amethyst. I just love purple eyeshadow. It's really one of my favorite. It is my favorite color, and I think it's probably my favorite. Pink and purple are my favorite colors to wear on my eyes. It's an interesting Amethyst shade there. I like it. And lastly, so those are my Lorac Pro palettes. But lastly, with my last available finger, I'm going to take the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection Pink Edition. And I'm going to swatch Baby Doll first, but then Undone would, will be next. Those are the two purples. I had another purple in there, but it fell out and broke. <laughs> um, or just broke at one point. This is the prettiest pastel lilac. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It is so, so pretty on the eyes, at least in the crease, you know, it's really nice. But I don't know why, I just think my eyes are, I don't know, I like how my eyes look with pinks and purples. It's just a nice combo for my skin tone, I think, but a lot of people enjoy pinks and purples. It's just so much fun. And then I'm going to take Undone. I don't even know where to put them anymore. This is very pretty. It's like a bright pinky, pinky purple. Okay. <laughs> um, the Melt Mirte palette. I love this palette. I'm going to take these two burgundies here. We've got Valoro and I don't even, I'm not even going to try to say these names. I'm doing a bad job. They are super deep burgundies. They almost look brown here, but, oh, here. They almost look brown, but they're super deep burgundies. Love this palette. I think I'm gonna save this one here for the pink round when we do this. This is a little crazy of a video, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Lolita, we have, I'm gonna do this one, this one, and this one. Or maybe this one too. There's a lot here. These are all purple mattes, and they're super pigmented. So if you are a newcomer to eyeshadow and blending them and everything I feel like this would be kind of an intimidating palette but okay we've got this super deep one 
we've got a mob and a nice like plummy like those yeah this is a gorgeous matte purple and pink palette i love it my boyfriend got me this one 2018 i think all right chocolate gold too faced let's see i think i'm just gonna yeah just living lavish here it's a deep purple a lot of brands like to throw in this deep purple it seems very pretty and then i have the hello charmers boxy charm palette i'm just going to take full size here it's like a pressed glitter blue and purple shimmer <laughs> look at that oh my gosh that's so pretty it's like a blue and blue and purple in one i don't know if you can see that it's so so pretty the violet Voss essentials i'm just gonna take plumberry this is more of a pink i'm just gonna take plumberry which is a shimmer purple that one is so pretty on the eyes it's not swatching well but it is really really pretty oh we dropped a palette <laughs> there we go then one of the last palettes i'm taking is the urban decay born to run palette i'm gonna take we've got three i'm gonna take hell ride hell ride wild heart and guilt trip so these two and then the middle purple guilt trip looks like some of these other purples that i've been swatching it's just a average deeper like me medium purple look at that oh my god i'm loving how beautiful this is looking they all look really really different to me like there's some similarities yes but i feel like i don't know i feel like i do have a good variety of purples and that makes me happy because i didn't I was hoping not to be swatching all these and be like, oh my god, these are all the same exact shade of purple. Why do I have everything like this? Okay, we're going to take... Oh, I already swatched Guilt Trip. Why am I swatching it again? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hellride is not the best pigmented... Not the best at pigmentation... Yeah, Wild Heart and Hellride are nothing special. <laughs> I feel like purples are very hard to uh, formulate. I know that for a fact. So the fact that I have gotten a lot of good purples is great. But these, these two at least are not really that good. <laughs> so I love this palette, but they're just not that good. And lastly, one of my favorites, this is the Marc Jacobs Stiletto Palette. And I'm just going to take that purple here. It is called Jungle. Yeah. And that's going to be my last one. This is such a pretty purple. I'm going to swatch it next to Baby Doll from Sugar Pill. This is just a gorgeous, like, cool toned, mid tone purple matte. So, yeah, that. <laughs> I think is all the purples in my collection. Oh my gosh, this has been crazy. I needed two parts to this video. I can't believe it. But yeah, I really enjoyed showing you guys all of my purple shadows. It really was fun for me going through my whole collection, swatching them, comparing them, and seeing all that my collection offers um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video and i will see you guys next time hope you have a great day bye